Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. We have a variety of spotlights that are available here at Sirenet. This particular one in question is the SNSL1. It's made for us here in the United States by a fantastic manufacturer. And this particular light is going to be taken apart by Chris, who is our intrepid take it apart -er. Let's go over to Chris right now and see what you've got going, Chris. Good morning, Chris. How are you doing this morning? Good. Good, 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 good day. You, sir? Good day in your world. Good, good. Here's the light in question. This is yours. Our SN SL1 happens to be a full LED spotlight. It's designed as a replacement for the Unity that's on your vehicle or that you may be adding for the new vehicles arriving in your fleet. What's also a trick feature with this, since it's a standard six inch diameter, say if you have housings on your DOT, fire apparatus, or search and rescue rig, maybe even your own Jeep or four x four, if it's an incandescent housing well, let's see, housing that has an incandescent bulb in it that you can crack open, remove the bulb fixture, well, you could replace it with one of these. So if you're looking to do an upgrade, no matter what the vehicle, take a look at the SNSL1 for an upgrade. The unit itself, polycarbonate lens on the front here, black cast housing for the rear, and it's actually put together as a series of components. So with the fun of Sirenet Television, we're going to go ahead, give you an inside look, like Stuart mentioned here, and like I like to do, at what's going on to make this the unit that it is. In the back here, there's four screws that affix the front lens to the back cast housing. Go ahead, flip it over, get the screws out. And with the screws, there's a green epoxy sealant here. And what that does is help to keep the top of the screw and the opening in the housing here free of grime or condensation. So basically it locks around the edge to keep anything from getting in. It's held on nice and tight. It's actually pressure sealed on. There's an incorporated gasket in the lip. And I'll show you that in just a moment here. So I'm going to go ahead, take a small flat tip screwdriver, go around the edge here just to help break the seal. The front polycarbonate lens removed, you can see it's a deep one piece unit. So it actually extends off the front of the housing, unlike some of the other units, say our SN SL3 or SN SL4, which are also part of the family of six inch LED heads that we offer here. Black incorporated gasket here. So as I mentioned, helps to seal it onto the cast housing to keep moisture, grit and grime from getting in. It's also UV resistant. So it'll look nice and fresh and glossy for years to come. So you won't have to worry about it getting hazy or anything like that after it's been in service for a few years. You can see here, there's a extended optic portion. Zoom it in so the camera can take a look here. And with the fun of these is if you haven't seen them, well, on the website, maybe you've looked at the catalog, maybe you've seen them in person, maybe you haven't seen them, but in either case, in the field, it's always gonna be the finished good that's in the housing on the vehicle. And getting an inside look like this really isn't gonna be something that even some of the folks doing the installs will have the opportunity to do, is really why take it apart. But that's the fun, show you how it goes together to make this what it is for you. Series of bolts in here hold this optic onto the cast housing. So I'll go ahead, remove those, to get this optic portion freed up. And with those loosened up, we can go ahead and remove the optic. 
you can see it extends outward from the housing here. So that allows for the depth that you see in this part. It has optics here that are designed to take the total of the nine diodes that are mounted inside the assembly here. And yes, they are all epoxy sealed, shock resistant, produces a higher and more focused output with the optics here. So what I can do to show you how these are gonna boost the output that this unit offers, and also keep in mind it is a two degree beam, we'll show you what the optics do versus what optics don't do if I light it up as it is here. With 12 volts applied, diodes light up. You can see it's a very, very tremendous output. But point it toward the screen here, and you can see rather than it being a tight focused beam, you're really just getting a broad spread of lighting. So with the diodes as they are here, without optics to focus them, you're just getting a great big circle of white light. So even if we take this polycarbonate UV resistant lens extension here, put it over the housing, you can see there's no direction to the beam. Really, it's just a great big broad spread of light. Take that away. And also on the back here, two screw posts. These are where you'll fix your wire connections in your six inch housing, be it Unity or any other kind you may have. You have a ground and a lead, and it's designed for 12 volt. So with that, and now that you've seen the way the beam is without the optics, we'll go ahead, take this portion here, reaffix it, and then also reaffix this portion here to show you how the optics adjust the beam so it's a really nice, intense, direct two degree spot. And what's nice with this is there's only one way to put it in. So the screws are only gonna go in one way. So it'll lock in nice and tight. What you can do is just match the two offset screws right here in the center with the two offset screw mounts in the center as well. Screwed back in, nice and tight. And this portion in here is also a UV resistant. They use the same compound to form this as they use to form this here. So great thing to keep in mind, the outsides will look great as well as the insides for years to come. Now, in case you're wondering, there is a little alignment lip or tooth right here, that will match up to the little notch in the cast housing here. So again, when you reassemble, line the pieces up and it'll go back together perfect every time. So it's a little tough to see. It is a black tab going into a black cast housing here, but you can see, push it in and the two pieces do line up here. On the back of the housing, there's a yellow Gore-Tex breather. And what that allows is for air travel to go from the inside of the light head to the outside. So for example, when I seal the lens on here, it'll expel the extra air that's in here, but also it helps with heat dissipation. So when the unit's been on for a bit of time, heat goes to the back fins here, casts outward, and also goes out the center Gore-Tex hole as well. So very well put together. So. If you do ever have condensation occur inside the unit here, which does happen, 
there is air in here after all. And with the exterior environment, you have the climate change. So warmer in the evening, drops really cold, it's raining out, foggy, snow, what have you. When the unit turns on, it'll get warm and condensation that can arise in here, again, just from normal climate change, will expel through the Gore-Tex breather. So very purposeful. Looks nice with the optic and the non-optic back on. I'll go ahead, screw it together. And there we have it, nice and secure, a one piece unit again. Take the post on the back, the ground, the lead, put a positive and a negative, 12 volts to them. And with that, you'll see now with the optics, very nice, very tight focused beam. Now again, keep in mind that the screen here is only about three feet away from the bulb. So yes, it is a very tight circle. But as we get further and further back, as far as distance goes, the circle spread will increase. So say if you're on a traffic stop, it's gonna go right through the back window perfectly so you'll see what's going on. Or if you're using it in search and rescue, you need to beam something a very great distance away from you, the two degree spotlight will work great for distance and illuminating a specific target. Go ahead, blind out the camera here. Maybe not so much, maybe right in the middle. That's always fun. But again, with LEDs, very intense, very directive, and that's what you're getting with our SN SL1 two degree spotlight. I hope you've liked the inside look at our SirenNet SN SL1 LED spotlight. Thanks for watching. Back to you, Stuart. Thank you, Chris. And to all of you out there in SirenNet television land, many thanks for watching SirenNet TV. Have a great day.